everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 49 of Direwolf20's FTP Skies Let's Play series. Uh, where I'm running around the end, collecting more stuff. Kind of just ignoring everything, because I'm invincible. I take no damage from anything anymore. I snag gems and stuff, and then when I get to the bottom of this thing, I know this is going to explode, but I don't care. I'll grab whatever's in there that looks interesting, and I'll just go. Go ahead, explode. I don't care, it's fine. Your explosions don't hurt me, plus, you know, things. Uh, I'm in a rush. I'm trying to get good stuffs. I would like to get one more legendary or orange named item if I could. Uh, and because I've got two so far in my backpack here, along with a bunch of purples and blues, uh, it would be neat if I could get one more orange. And then, nope, no such luck in there. So you guys go away. That fills up my backpack. I keep throwing my hammer in there by mistake. Um, and uh, that would be that would give me. I think I had one mythic in the. Um, let's see. When I do this, I get one to four God Forge purples from from the affix items, the mythic affix items. So I mean, with a little luck, the two I have, but I've been getting almost one pretty, pretty consistently. Um, you know. So I guess we'll see what I get from the affix item I have now. Um, but the gist is, I mean, if it's one to four, I wonder how that randomness is calculated. Because you would think, with it being one to four, with a little bit of luck, you could, like, keep affixing with two and then break it down. And if you're lucky, you get four and then just get more and more mythics. But I can't imagine that that's accurate, right? Like, I... Oh. Beats me. Beats me. I just work here. I don't know how nothing works. Uh so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna I might I might look for one more place to loot, and if I don't get there it is. I'm gonna call this the end of the hunting for things. Um up these stairs will be a singular chest, and I got block of shiny crystal. I got a bow, but it's purple. Wah wah wah. Alright, I'm calling it. I'm calling it. It's all good. It's all good. Let's break it down. So I've got all kinds of loots to put away here. And, you know, trash away. Can I do this? Yeah, that would be cool. Oh, goodness, that is awesome that I can do that. I didn't notice you could do that before, and I really love that you can do that. So I got five Godforged Pearls. Yes, please. That is awesome. That is awesome. So now if we look up Apotheosis, we should have a sixth Godforged Pearl, which is cool. Uh, which means I can hopefully get a little bit lucky with some good stuffs here. Agile Flux Infused Bow of the Current. Uh, Sundering 2, which I'm not quite sure what that does. Uh... Poison 2, 60% chance to shoot a second arrow, 3 sockets, um, good draw speed, good total speed, maybe? Um, I mean, that's, that's pretty close to being as good, but it only has 2 sockets, and it still does that sundering thing, which I don't know what it does. What's sundering do? No clue. Uh, it's a potion. I don't know what it does. I'm gonna I'm gonna forego that. What I'm gonna do is just get like you know some time warm fabrics here, or even some luminous shards for the blue, right? And if we got just a sword, because we don't care, we want to cycle this, right? Uh, give me a bunch of experience. All right, I need the um, we need we need gem dust, right? Uh, so that's flawless. I don't want to do anything that's flawless. So don't give me any flawless stuff. But I will take a lightning gem. Ranged weapons, 32 arrow velocity. Oh, I might want that. I can probably clean this one up a little bit if I got a better one. Uh, gem of the combatant. That includes arrow damage. That's a much better arrow damage, right? So we can void that one. Look, these two are these two are nice. Thirty-five percent arrow damage, twenty-seven percent arrow damage, and uh, it's not flawless, so I might even be able to improve this one a little bit beyond that. Uh, this doesn't have anything for ranged, and it's a blue. 
so I don't care too much about them. That's one I probably don't want to crack, Lightning Jim. I might, I might hang on to that guy. Blender Gem. Another Combatant. We'll, we'll go with that. How's that sound? Now is it, is it still in here that I do this? Yeah, you guys can all, boom. Right, and then I can do that, nice and simple. And then that will let me recycle this and we'll see what we get now. Mob drops will teleport to you on hit gain speed four. None of that sounds cool. Um, on hit inflict wither four and slowness, but it's only got one socket. Meh. Uh, speed three and second arrow, right? So I don't love that, so I'm gonna do this again. And then this and see what we got. Uh, again, teleport, second arrow, two sockets. Speed three, 45%, two sockets. I'm gonna skip, unless there's something really good here, but I don't accept it will be, yeah. Right, uh, slowness and levitation, that does sound fun. Cause it'll totally like nullify their ability to function, right? Good arrow damage, good velocity, really good draw speed, three sockets. I'm leaning there, right? And this will be poison. So it's poison or slowness is what it affects. Um, this has slightly more base arrow damage, but slightly less velocity and otherwise pretty similar. And this is sundering, speed, and wither. See, I don't like the idea of inflicting poison. Well, no, poison doesn't seem like a terrible idea, right? I might go with this one only because it has slightly more damage and it does poison over slowness. Um, and that could be fun, right? Normally I wouldn't like something that like affects, that does that, but I don't think that's gonna hurt. I think I'm cool with that. I think I'm cool. I think we're gonna do the four here. Let's do the four, right? I'm down with that. Well, done and done. Decisions made. We did it. We did it. We got a very nice looking one of these guys, right? And now we can socket it, right? So we had the gem of the combatant, which will be 35 base arrow damage. Now, can't I improve this? How do I improve this guy? If I want this thing to be improved, we need either a Godforged Pearl or Arcane Sands, right? And maybe some gem dust. And that will be a 37%, right? So it goes from 35 to 37. That's cool. And it goes from 37 to 39, and that'll be flawless, so it can't get any better. Okay. And then I can insert that, and that's pretty cool. 39% base arrow damage. Liking it so far. Liking it so far. <laughs> um, what else did we have here? Uh, let's find something with cool ranged weapons. Uh... 8% base crit chance. Anything orange. I think I kind of want to lean into orange. Brawler's gem. It doesn't look like it does ranged weapons though here, right? So plus one level to all existing enchantments. That's kind of neat. That's in anything. Should we do that? I like that plan. We're going to do that one. It says existing. I got to imagine I can slot it and then do the enchant, but just to be safe, let's do it the, the other direction. Uh, this is bigger draw speed. Like, how am I for draw speed right now? If I got some arrows. I don't know that we need any more draw speed, right? Oh man, I get like a... Why does my... Uh, why do I feel like I'm zooming in a little bit? Or zooming out? It's like I'm zooming out when I have this equipped. There's no speed or anything, right? 30% total speed. Does that 30% total speed mean like player speed? I'm not gonna worry about it because it's not on all the time, so it doesn't suit. But, you know. Uh, that does not go in bows. I'm leaning into orange if I can. That's all about experience gain, which I don't really care about. More, I could do more 
base arrow damage here if I wanted to, and I might. Swords and tridents. I might just do more, more, more arrow damage, right? I mean, that's what we ultimately want. So can I do more gem dusts then? Probably, right? So that and that are gonna go into this, but I wanna upgrade this. This one's flawless already, so we don't need to upgrade him, right? Um, I'm going to say that I don't care too much. That's flawless already, and that has some cool stuff on it. Let's just get some greens and some non-flawless. That's flawless, but it's a gray. Do I care about that? Meh, meh, meh. I'm gonna say no. Yeah, I'm not worried about some of these at least. Cool. And then I should be able to take this guy and upgrade him a few times. And now he's flawless. And he's 39 hour damage again. Nice. And this is flawless. It's plus one to all enchants. I like it. I like it. So now... Let's see how we made out with enchants, by the way. Um, do I want endless quiver or infinite? I think I want infinite, right? I, I think we decided we want infinite. But let's get our enchants ready here. So flame, no. Infinity, we got. Fires extra horizontal arrows. Meh. Power available level is nine. Is that how high power goes in this pack? It is. So power nine. That's perfect. Uh, quick draw. Did I already get that one? I have quick draw five. I'm pretty sure that's also up to five as your max. Quick shot goes up to seven, so that's cool. It's going to be a very fast bow. Increases the accuracy and speed and allows them to pierce. Did we already get true shot? I don't know that we, we didn't because we said it was too low, right? But now we have true shot six, so that works for me. Three arrows are fired in an arc. Only one arrow is consumed kind of cool right i'm down with that so then what i'm gonna do is make sure my magnet's off because that always messes with this but we're gonna apply this here because why not we have infinite mana right and then we can do five it did it did five didn't i have six books Feel like i had six books oh well we'll figure it out we'll see which ones it didn't apply in a minute here cool uh so it did volley quick shot and quick draw it did power and infinity it didn't do true shot why didn't you do true shot but I could just put it on here, maybe, right? No, eh, he doesn't want to allow it. Well, whatever. I'm not going to lose sleep over it. I'm not sure which enchant is preventing them from being together, but it's all good. So then you and you... Oh, you don't want to have another one? Oh, it's a unique. My bad. I guess it was a waste to upgrade that. All right, are there any other gems that look pretty cool? For bow, can I search for gem and bow? No, I can't, that's all right. Ooh, that's experience gain. That's draw speed. That's unique though, right? So no luck for him. Uh. Draw speed again. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about it. We'll just leave it off. Is that good? Works for me. So this should be like a ridiculously, insanely overpowered bow, right? Am I right to think that? I'm thinking that's pretty accurate. Uh, can I have no arrows on me and shoot? Yeah, that's pretty fast. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Look at that. And it does shoot three at a time. See? Boop. Three arrows. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, yeah, I'm on board. Should we do Gaia Fight? Yeah, we're going to do Gaia Fight. Of course we're going to do Gaia Fight. How ridiculous is this fight going to be right now? Uh, let's see. Now, I know we're going to get some really loud music going on here, generally. 
Ready? Oh, nope. Too small by eh, just a little bit, actually. Just a little bit. I think we can make this work. Give me some dirt. I can I can make I can work with this. And then you. Okay. And then I just want to see if you're happy over here. You're happy over here-ish. I'm not seeing any reds. I think if I literally place one here, you're going to be satisfied. I just want to see if I can make this music not so loud. Yeah, I think it was Jukebox. That's not a bad amount of damage right there. Look at this bow. Look at this bow action. Right? Boom, boom. Super sniper. Got nothing on me, Gaia Guardian. I got such OP gear. It's so overpowered. Quest kill one witch. Is that literally the first witch that I've killed, like, by myself this whole series? Because that's kind of funny. And I just have to tap right click and they die. Like, there's no drawing of this bow. It's just tap right click and they're dead. He does do a lot of damage. Look at that. Boom. Nice. And I got more Gaia Spirits, which is cool. Did I have six in here? I did. Nice. Now let's put all this away. By the way, I'm pretty sure it's Jukebox that I did. So now I'm going to get a Gaia ingot, Gaia Spirit ingot, and also what I want to do is look in my Lexica Botania book at what's new in the Botanic Editions chapter. So look at all this cool stuff. Gaia Agglomeration Plate. After getting your palms on elven resources, why not upgrade to the tower series? Uh, go, Gomer. Uh, pretty good doing what it should, but perhaps it's time to upgrade. Uh, it's more efficient at creating terra steel, and it can create more than just that. Okay. So it can make terra steel more efficiently, apparently, but it can also get Gaia steel ingots with a Gaia spirit ingot, dragonstone, and pixie dust. Is this what we need for the quest? If it's not what we need for this quest, it's what we need for a future quest for sure. I know that much. Um... Gaia Band of Aura is an upgrade. Okay. Gaia Band of Mana uh, stores mana on a ring instead of on an item. Gaia Steel Pylon is a better version of the Natura Pylon. By applying some Gaia Steel, it can upgrade, thus reducing any mana cost for operating the Portal of Elfheim by around four times. Eh, okay. Mana Stealing Blade is an improvement to the Terra Blade, though this time, though, it deals more damage and it's capable of drawing mana from your enemy players. Interesting. Terra Catalyst is used as another type of catalyst. It may also be used as a splitter for some resources such as Gaia Spirit. Oh, Terra Catalyst, huh? Uh, so that can turn the Gaia Spirit into Gaia Shards, which is used to make the Gaia Agglomeration Plate and a Gaia Mana Spreader. Okay, cool. So let's fight the tier two version of this guy um, and see how that goes, yes? Tier two, Gaia Guardian Mach two. Bring it Gaia Guardian, you ain't got nothing on me and my bow. Now, for the record, I'm pretty sure uh, the Gaia Guardian has a limit to how much damage he can accept at a time. So, my bow is probably, in reality, even stronger than this. Um, but the Gaia Guardian, like, caps his damage received. Because, you know, there were some items that were, like, one-shotting the Gaia Guardian. 
so they were like, nope, we're not letting that happen anymore. Cool. Come on, guys, spirit, let's go. Boom! Got you down. Look at all the runes I get from her. That's awesome. Will of Arhem, that's a Terra Steel upgrade. Very nice, very nice. Some more Gaia Spirits. Did I get the dice? Did I not get a dice of fate? What's up with the lack of dice of fate? I'm supposed to get one of those. Interesting. Uh, I guess so. I thought that was supposed to. I should have gotten a dice of fate. I forget if it's the tier one or tier two that drops it, but. We killed both, so I should have gotten one by now. Interesting that I didn't yet. All right, let's see what's needed for this chapter. Uh, so the overpowered dude, we need Gaia Spirit ingots. So we need 16 of those, right? 16 Gaia Spirit ingots would be 64 Gaia Spirits because it's four to one. So I have to kill the Gaia Spirit at least a handful more times. And I'm going to keep killing the Tier 2 Spirit because I get way more Spirits for that. So I'm going to do the rest of this off camera and we'll be back in a few minutes after I've killed the Gaia Guardian a few more times. Cool? So be right back. You know, not for nothing, I just looked over to the right and there was a dice of fate on the ground. Look, it's in my inventory now. It didn't get magneted up, which was interesting. So uh, the magnet didn't pick up the dice of fate, which is probably, uh, it's probably like blacklisted from the battalion magnet. Probably why I get it. So I did get my dice of fate, which I appreciate. So just FYI, I do have one of these now. We're about to get another. Now I've got two dice of fates. Sweet. Yoinks. Put all that away. And then we got. Alright, we got the Ring of Odin plus 20 max health. Looking forward to that, shenanigans. Uh, let's get some raw something to eat. Uh, how about raw beef? Sounds like a good thing to cook. Cool. And then for one of the 20 rings that I can equip, boom. Well, that's going to be a lot of extra health. I guess we'll see what's beyond blue at this point. Uh, and then my other roll was the Eye of the Flugel, which is the teleporty teleporty one cool all right i got some more gaia spirits to do but what i'd like to do before i do that is see what color of heart happens beyond blue because i got plus 20 health which is plus 10 hearts which means i should be well beyond blue at this stage right come on i should get one of those like meat feeder helmet things. I mean, we do have plenty of liquid meat, right? We could. So the next color is purple. All right. There's got to be a limit, right? Like at some point, maybe it recycles. I it was like back. I, I have no idea. All right. Back in a few. And my next dice roll was... Ah, the Ring of Thor. That extends the range of your stuff, right? Uh, Ring of Thor dramatically increases the Terror Shatterer's arrow of effect. All right, I lied. I have no idea what it does. Yeah, it's if you're using the Terror Shatterer, which I always feel I've never really used that pickaxe. Because usually, you know, by the time you get to that kind of item, you're not really mining by hand anymore. I'd really like a pack one of these days that gives you, like, these these really useful tools early game so that you can use them when you're in like the manual mining stage. Because usually you get to the point where you're like, I'm not mining anymore. 
Oh great, I have like a super cool pickaxe, but now I don't need to mine anymore, so how excited am I? Not at all. Anyway, I'm up to 50 Gaia Spirit ingots. Well, 46, I guess, if you count the fact that I'm about to use some to make another batch. Uh, I'm probably, I'm guessing, needing at least two more. Uh, so we'll be back again in just a moment. All right, I think I've got enough now. Uh, I think I actually did one extra, but that was mostly for fun. Hey, the fruit of Griselda, oh, that thing, sweet. And I got my key of Ring King's Law, dude. So now I should have no problem um, give me those. Let's try that again. Boom, boom, boom. Cool. And Terra Steel. All right, we got 16. Perfect. So that is a quest hand in. Now, is my fire rate done? 16 of them are. Did I ask for 64? I asked for 64 if I'm right. Or is 16 what I needed? No, I needed 64. Didn't I ask for 64? Well, whatever. Uh, 48 more. I guess we just have to wait for that craft. I must. I might have asked for 16 by mistake, and you know, whatever. Uh, so we'll be back in quite a while because this is gonna take just a few minutes. So I guess while that's waiting, uh, unstable ingots is a thing we're going to need to look at making, right? Uh, dimensional shards and eyes of ender. How am I for dimensional shards? Oh, we're going to need a lot of them as well. Eyes of ender. Uh, am I going to be able to get a thousand of those? Oh my. Apparently yes. Well, have fun crafting that. <laughs> yes, I could craft it by hand, but it's not that big a deal. So uh, we're going to need dimensional shards, uh, which I'm pretty sure. Am I getting any dimensional shard ore? Uh, I am not. I am not. Uh, so dimensional shards can be crafted like so, but that seems super annoying. Um, or am I not automating crushed endstone? I guess I'm not. There's only a 20% chance of that happening. Uh, what if I got dimensional shard... Is that... Oh, there's no laser for those? Okay, that's going to be a thing. Where's my endstone? Am I not doing endstone? I may not be doing endstone. I may not be doing endstone? Alright, so I need crushed endstone, right? So that can be in an automatic hammer, right? Whichever, doesn't matter. Um, and that'll make crushed endstone. And endstone itself can be endstone bricks. So let's do this. So endstone bricks with a pedestal. Okay, and we should be able to make this hopefully pretty quick. And then we're going to need a material generator, which is going to need a bucket. A lava, which I know I have one somewhere-ish. Where do I keep my lava buckets at? Down here? I think you're a lava. Yup. There we go. Material generator. So that can go in my offhand here. And you're producing endstone. Beautiful. <laughs> um, I guess what I should be doing... Is probably... It could be like the millstone. I could use the millstone for crushing it as well, couldn't I? Because crushed endstone... This comes from crushed endstone, right? Is that is on my mind? Yes, definitely. So maybe we'll use the millstone just to just to stick to the theme. Yeah, I can do another millstone. It's probably faster that way. You don't have any of these on here? Right, andesite alloys.
oak logs. That should be enough. Okay. And then we can get our milkstone. And I might wind up moving this over to here, <clears throat> just so that it's in the same line. There you go. Now, you could be sped up as well. Uh, and I think I will actually do that. Let's, let's do that now. Um, it's a diamond block and an obsidian block, right? And is it diamond first, then obsidian? I believe that to be true, right? Yes, 10 out of 40. This should be 20 out of 40. 30 out of 40. 40 out of 40. So that should be super fast now. If I right click it right. So now look, yeah, see, we already have a full stack of endstone going there. That was quick. That was really quick. I like that. Uh, and then we're going to want our exporter. And you're basically just going to go like this. And then we're going to see how fast you export if I do this, that. Is that going to be super cool? Your transfer speed may need to be improved. No, I think you're you're doing pretty good, actually. He's keeping up, see? See him keeping up? We're net gaining up here. So that tells me that we're good on transfer speed. Okay. And then we're going to want our mesh. And then we're going to want the sifter. Goodness, all the crafting. Okay, and then you're gonna be pedestal and pedestal, and then you're going to be, I think I made two importers, and I'm gonna turn one of them into an exporter. Cool, so you're gonna import, and then you're going to export. You're going to link here to here. And I may need you to run a little bit faster because you're not quite keeping up, it looks like. You're close. You're close, but you're not quite. But we're getting a lot of dimensional shards already, so that's cool. Um, what, uh... Oh, good. Quest complete. <laughs> Crushed endstone. Actually, you look like you imported pretty quickly, didn't you? Did you import super quick or no? Can increase speed. How fast are you importing? 16 at a time? Okay. But then you're only transferring like four at a time, right? So if I put the acceleration, not acceleration, what are they called? From pedestals, speed tier augment four. If I put one of those here, is that right? Thinking you'll transfer faster then? Doesn't look like it did a lot, did it? that helping? That seems to be helping. Yeah, it does. That works. It's kind of net gaining, I think. Or at least it's breaking even, which is good enough for me. 
Now, I don't think there's anything we need to smelt here. So in theory, um, we should be able to just uh, do the standard on the up. You can bind it here, and then on the up, you will be an extract, and we'll make it fast. Cool. So ender pearls and dimensional shards are going that way very quickly. Do we have a drawer for dimensional shards? If we don't, you're stuck here, right? Well, not necessarily stuck here, but you're sitting in there. Yep. So we don't have a drawer for dimensional shards. So let's get a drawer. And let's give it a... Yeah, now the right upgrade seems cool. And we should also do a void upgrade. Deal? So you, you, you. The stack of dimensional shards I have can go in there. You can be locked. And you, let's make sure you're bound to this thing and added and now you have 112 nice that's what i'd want to see and those should go in my backpack all right so let's do this let's wait a little bit when we come back next episode we will have gotten a lot more dimensional shards hopefully right um and are you working or no quite as fast as I would want you to. You're getting enough end stone, but you're not moving that quick. You're not crushing it, crushing it quite fast enough. So what if I did get a good hammer? Um, that's an iron auto hammer? What if we get, like, the netherite one? I can only assume that, like... Well, actually, I don't want to assume that. I don't know if the netherite's going to be faster than, like, an iron, but whatever. So if we got a gold, and then we upgraded it to a diamond, and then we upgraded it to a netherite, that might be cool. Yay, a stick. I can't tell if it's faster or not. I really can't. So there's the input and then there's the buffer. Yeah, he's definitely not faster. Crushed and stone. Is there anything else that can do it? That might be faster even. Crushing macerator, five seconds, meh. Maybe, maybe a mechanism crusher if we like super updated it. That could be doable. Let's do that real quick. I was going to wrap up here, but I really want to see if I can make this super cool. Right? So you guys all go away. We don't need none of this no more. Uh, buckets. I need an extra bucket. Okay. So crusher from mechanism. And then get me the tier installers, right? Uh, let's go with basic, advanced, and elite for now. And then the proper upgrades and a flux point. Apparently there's birds here now. Okay, so you, 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 and me. Pressure, good. And then side config uh, will be items will be input on this side and output out this side with an auto eject. Cool. And then we can do tier, tier, tier. We can put split mode on. That should be keeping me happy. Pretty darn close. 
just might need... Another one of these. And this. Now we should be good. Maybe? Yes? Looks cool. Net gaining? Yeah, now we're cooking. Now I think we're cooking. The only question is, will you be able to keep up? You might need some accelerations at this point. Can I do this? See. I think I've got enough of these that I can be a little wasteful with it. Can I get up to a tier 5? Nope, tier 4 is definitely the biggest. Well, we'll see if that's good. And when we come back next episode, we'll see how we made out on Dimensional Shardor. Like, we're already up to 176, so this won't take too long to get to 1,000. All right, for now, for reals, wrapping up point. Oh, 20 signed off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.